Hello, and we are back for round number two, and I won the die roll again, and I'm playing against Caleb Durward, so a uh, little CFB versus SCG uh, brawl. Uh, last time I recorded a video, I lost to Sam Pardee, so this time I'm hoping to get a little bit of revenge. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and Severus, Sneep, Birds into Corsair. Uh, the rest of our hand's a little mm, meh, but... We have birds into Corsair, and hopefully that's going to be good enough to get the job done against whatever he's playing, which we don't know. And um, we're not going to crack this Verdant, though, because we want to save that for use with our Corsair. So we're probably going to go like Forest Bird, Temple Garden Corsair, go from there. You know that drill. First draw of the game, collect company would be a delight. Alright, so bird is the word. We'll see how it progresses from here. Doesn't look like it's progressing at all from here. Looks like we're not gonna see how it progresses from here. I wonder if he's recording right now. He probably is. It's a, it's a record off battle to see. Who can win? Well, we're definitely winning the time fight counts for something. Yeah. I will say one nice thing about playing this deck on Magic Online is I don't have to try to combo and run out of time clicking a million triggers um, as I combo off a bunch of stuff. Right, steam Vents. Don't kill my bird. Don't, bro don't bolt my bird. Please don't bolt my bird, man. I just want a Corsair in play. That's all I want. Yes, he didn't bolt my bird. Uh, uh, Temple Garden or Overgrown Tomb. I don't think it matters that much. Temple Garden. And a Corsair of Crufix. Don't annul my Corsair of Crufix. Man, I, I would like less land Magic the Gathering cards on the top of my deck. What is he doing? Eternal Witness, you say? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it's gain a life. I, I am so confused about what is happening. Maybe I'm supposed to play this witness on this one swept teeth or something, but I'd rather save it. Okay, no play. No play, no crack. Alright, things are getting cracked now. Like Jimmy, for example, cracking corn. Snow covered plains. Snow covered islands is blood moon. No, Serum Visions. Okay. What is he playing? Two cards on the bottom. Alright, I'm gonna fetch away witness that may be super bad. Another windswept heath. Uh -huh. Can I please stop drawing lands? At least we have Corsair, but we're drawing our cards in the wrong order. I'm 
Okay. And swap teeth. Birds is not a good one either. Uh, I guess with those birds though, we can start getting Township going next turn. He's already at 12 life too. It's actually reasonable. And he probably expects us to have collected company, so he's probably going to play super conservatively to not get co code. How's he so low already? I guess Corsairs hit him a bunch of times. Three times. Alright, birds. We have a Sculler on top. And I'll cast a Bird of Paradise, see if he has a response. Feels like he's playing some sort of twin deck. <clears throat> Sorry that but all my opponents have been extremely slow. Makes for the videos kind of suck when it's just super slow. You have to wait every time you make any action. To be fair, I ended the last match with less time than my opponent, but I feel like that was a lot to us just talking about things and discussing things. All right. Well, we may win this game casting two Birds of Paradises and a Corsair Crewfix <laughs> as our only spells. Because <clears throat> I don't know what is going on over there. Hallowed Fountain. Is this a Restoration Angel? Is this a Restoration of Arathia Angel? It is a Cryptic Command. Bounce Draw. Okay. You have succeeded at Cryptic Command Bounce Draw. I think I should have Townshiped there. If he has Electrolyze, he can get both my birds. This is, which be said. Strand. We're drawing a Tide Hollow Scholar next turn, which will hopefully give us some insight into what it, what is going on. <clears throat> and Soulfire Grandmaster. Okay, that's a that's a card. Alright, well, go ahead and electrolyze me and punish me for my mistake. I think that, I feel like that's what's gonna happen. He is at seven, but I'm sure he's just got burn spells galore. All right, well, we'll start with this. Just see what's going on. Spell snare, tilt. I can witness Sculler actually, but I'd rather I think get the Courser going. He might mana leak this though, that would be sad. <sighs> yeah, maybe I should have played the land first. Oh, it's a remand, okay. Well, in that case, fetch a swamp and play the Corsair. Really? Uh, I couldn't get a spell out of it. It's Corsair. You're really killing me, Corsair.
mean, we're still doing fine. I mean, we have these two birds that are like actually pretty close to a lethal threat if he doesn't if he doesn't have like a wrath of effects or whatever. This this township could very easily do him in. But um we are not drawing particularly well. I'm just F6 tier. Might be an activation of Soulfire plus a removal spell. Oh, Snapcaster targeting Cryptic. Okay, he's just gonna bounce Corsair. And he goes up to seven, we can only hit him for four. And we draw a forest. So let's see, I can play Corsair, Witness, and Scholar, so and that's probably the play. If that's the case, do I Witness Scholar first? I probably do. Alright, so it's Witness, get back Scholar, play it. He has Scred, oh wow. Anger of the Gods. Remand and Stubborn Denial. Alright, so I'm gonna write, write that down. He has a Sacred. Sacred Foundry. Scred. Denial. Remand. Anger. <sighs> well, that Anger doesn't kill our Corsair, though. But it gets him, it would get him back to Scred to kill our Corsair. I think we take the Anger of the Gods. So if I take Scred, he can cast Anger, get back Scred, and Scred off to finish off our Corsair, and just like leave us both with nothing except he has actual cards in hand, and I just have like a million lands. So I think that I just take this Anger of the Gods and force him to. He can, if he Screds my Sculler, then that's fine. And if he scribes my courser, that's fine too, because I have township. Thoughtseize. Thoughtseize. Well, I'll play the Heath, because I'm not sure if I want to draw the Thoughtseize or not. And I can decide, depending on what he does. So, like, here, I feel like he kind of... He might have to pull the trigger on Scredding Scholar and then casting Anger. Just, just so he is not, like, just dead. To everything and, and if we get thoughts is that might be good too. If he if he makes that line of play, so there's a sacred foundry. If he plays it untapped then he's probably going for the scrat anger play. He does play it untapped. Alright, so he could also activate Soulfire Grandmaster and then Scred. Yeah, he's gonna activate Soulfire Grandmaster. Is this a a scred? Sure. Okay. He has a remand of stubborn denial. I think I want to draw the Thoughtseize to take that scred out of his hand, and then I can start town shipping and I can I can start shipping and shipping as they say. Activating township and then shipping my creatures in. And I don't think he can attack because he needs to threaten to like block.
Okay, well he is attacking. That's an interesting. Right, I'm not blocking. I don't mind taking a few points here. I'm not fetching either. Okay, let's fire off a thought seize. Let's start with a thought seize. I drew another scred. another scred. Well, I don't care about those other spells, so I'm still taking a scred. That's unfortunate. He's probably going to be able to scred my board before I can kill him. Unless I draw, like, I need to actually draw, like, a removal spell. Would be great. Or hope that the, all this township action gets them first. <clears throat> you probably, let's see. Because, like, he probably doesn't, well, he has to block here, right? No, he doesn't have to block. Three, six. Yeah, he has to, he has to either block or scred. So he's probably, well, he's probably going to scred the Sculler to get back Anger and then attack me and then Anger me next turn. And then we just get to restart, basically restart from zero. He has to, yeah, he, do, he does have to play the scred here, though. Which sucks. Uh, which is, it's, it's good, though, that he doesn't get to, like, get more rebuys out of it with Soulfire. Okay. And Overgrown Tomb. So we know he has an anger plus whatever he drew. He has stubborn denial and a remand. So if he, uh, yeah, he's this is a lethal attack. So there's a good chance he's forced to anger, but he can rebuy the anger though, which is pretty pretty sweet. <laughs> that's I I assume that's probably what his play is going to be, just like anger rebuy anger. Or like activate Soulfire Master Grandmaster by Anger. I mean he gains fifteen life from it, so it's a lot of life. Unless he drew like a burn spell or something. Oh no, what is this? Treasure Dig through time? What is this? Harvest Pyre X equals five. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that was a good draw for him. It's unfortunate. Ooh. That was a really good draw for us, though. So, Harvest, Pyre. Alright, so I know he has... Um, Alright, so I get to play Scholar. And I can take Harvest Pyre. And... He can't anger our birds of paradise anymore. All right, so if I take Harvest Pyre, so now he has anger, remand, denial. I get to activate Township to put our birds out of anger range. So we would have to 
anger and then harvest pyre the birds later so we'll just take harvest pyre and then I'll activate a township and I'm not cracking this fetch I'm not cracking this fetch because uh, if I draw a Courser, I won't have access to it. Alright, I need you to not draw another really good card. If this play here is just casting Anger, I'm really okay with that. Especially because he is dead next turn, so if he doesn't draw anything, he has to do something. Yep, so there's the Anger of the Gods. Gain a million life, get back a harvest pyre. Probably harvest pyre a bird. Oh, yes. That was good. He has a remand and a stubborn denial. Huh. He has he might have cryptic too. He has a denial, a remand, and a harvest pyre. Alright, well I'm just gonna go to combat and attack. And we'll see what this this goes. Alright, he's not harvest pyring. So he probably did draw cryptic command. he's deciding how he wants to cast this harvest pyre. Harvest pyre for five, I assume. Okay, well if he does, I, this, is a, this is the time to cast this thing. He can remand it, but we can cast it again. I just want to be able to guarantee that I can resolve this collected company. <laughs> this is this is probably like going to be really important to us winning this game, especially if we can hit like a witness and courser. Like courser witness is what I want to hit. Courser and witness. We know two of his cards are remand and stubborn denial. Okay, so remand. Oh, try it again. Charm of Life, Birds of Paradise. It wasn't very good. At least it, was two, it hit two creatures, though. But all right, so there's a land. And at this point, we know if Stubborn Denial is the only card we know of in his hand. So the other, the other ones could be anything. And we do Courser. Oh, cast it. It might get cryptic, dude. Like, I feel like he has a cryptic command. I just, for some reason. We'll see how this plays out. He does also he also has five snow cover permanents, so he can scred for five. But that does not kill the goif. It does kill that bird. Man, these these birds have done a lot of work this game. <laughs> they have been the word. These birds have certainly been the word. Scavenging ooze on top. Delightful. I want it. I want all of it.
and you can see it's cool. Alright, well that was a game. Uh, wow. How do I sideboard against that? What do I have in my board? Like, he has a lot of basics, so I don't think Fulminator. I do think I want Lingering Souls. I don't want Persecution. Firewalker, maybe. It survives, like, all of his removal spells, but it does also trade with his creatures, kind of. I definitely want, like, Thoughtseize, Decay. I want Corsair and Witness. I want, like... What do I not want? So path, like, I, I, I can cut, I think, some number of paths. Like, I can cut two paths f for two Lingering Souls at least. How do I feel about Scholar against him? Like, it just kind of dies to a bunch of stuff, but it actually seemed kind of good. I'm just wondering if Scholar is better than Firewalker. He may have issues beating Core Firewalker. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna try Core. F I'm gonna try Core Firewalker. It might be better than Sculler. Although Sculler kind of was sweet, I think this might be better. Actually, let's just cut these. Do we cut these birds? I kind of just want to cut these birds. They just get caught up in everything and like... Yeah. Alright, let's try cutting birds of paradise. And... Stick with this. Okay, I mean it's a, it's a risky line, but... Uh, yeah, I don't think bird is, is like... Okay, cool, and this is a hand that... Where we don't care about a bird. So, this is a sweet hand to start with. Snow covered island, center visions. I think I just thought sees on one and then so that I can like see, how, basically see what's going to happen. Uh, he puts them both on top though. Draw a path. Uh, it's. I still want a Thoughtseize on one. I don't want to take excessive damage either, so I'm just going to get a Swamp. Swans, oh wow. Blood Moon, whew. Alright, so we got to see some doozies. Our hand is good against Blood Moon, especially if we just immediately fetch a Forest with Windswept Teeth. We have all of our, we have all of our basics in play. I'm not worried about the Blood Moon. Uh, so let's see, it's Bolt and Scrad, so he has two removal spells, so I'm not going to take one of those. I'll probably just take the Swan. So Blood Moon, Lightning Bolt, Scred. I do have Path to Exile for Swans, but he can play around that. Arid Mesa, Flooded Strands. I'll take, yeah, definitely taking swans. I don't want to have to play around with around swans. There's Arid Mesa. Another Path to Exile. <laughs> I'll play Windswept Teeth. This is probably the Blood Moon. Probably just gonna get it out there. Like he probably doesn't care if I decay it, cause like I I already have basics in play. No Snapcaster Serum Visions. Lots well, of tilt that he got that out before I could play the Scavenging Ace.
is gonna die anyway, so I might as well just get it out there. It's a flooded strand. Uh, what did he do with his? He it looks like he put them both on top. Or wait, that was the first one. He put them both on bottom for the second one. Okay. All right. So we still know three of the four cards in his hand. And there's another Serum Visions. And puts them both on the bottom. There's Blood Moon. Okay. And man, well, our Ooze is gonna die. I think I want to get that Serum Visions out of there so he can't Snapcaster it. Our Ooze is going to die anyway, and I want to resolve Collected Company while I have a chance. We get another Ooze, that's sweet. And we have a witness on top too. Cool. All right, so yeah, we're we're in decent shape here. We know Bolt Scred are two cards in his hand, and he has three unknowns. But our board is actually pretty sweet. Uh, Courser is pretty exempt from bolting and scredding. Well, he can act, no, he can scred the Courser. That's true. But I can just witness it back. So I have a common to play Tapped Mountain in my hand. That's a delight. All right. He's probably going to attack. No. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. And Okay, well, I'll get a wife. So I can witness back thought season thought season. I think I'd rather just Send the boys on in. Let's see how this plays out. Alright, so he'll block an ooze and we'll exile swans with that ooze. No bolts. Okay, so there's that bolts. So we, we still know about scred. Okay, so that bolt will happen. And then I kind of want to, yeah, that's fine actually. I'll just hit him for four. And I want to draw that thought seize too. So I, I don't want to, I didn't want a collected company because like he has a lot of, he can have a lot of things like removal spells. <clears throat> okay, hitting us with a snap. It's cool. It's cool. I'm gonna try to exile this bolt. If he snap bolts, it's it's fine. I just don't want to get my mana tied up so much when I have it's a snap bolt. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. I still am in like pretty good shape here. I'm only in a bad shape if this collected company whiffs, but even then I can like witness it. Oh, and another collected company, that's great. If this is a draw step scred, yeah it is. So let's start with thought seize. Bolt scred. Okay. Take scred. So he has Lightning Bolt as his only card in hand. And I want to just witness back at Courser, I think. If Lightning Bolt's his only card in hand, Courser seems great. <clears throat> okay, and he drew a land, so we're in good shape. And we're going to block. We don't want to just get burned out. And what do I do here? I think 
got collected company leaving the planes up in case he draws swans. I don't think I get that ooze actually. I think I just get this. Well, Core Firewalk is really actually kind of inconsequential because of this Snapcaster Mage that can trade with it. So, yeah, we'll get the ooze and the witness. And I want to get. I kind of think it's just another collected company, but it could also be the other Eternal Witness. But we'll just make it collected company. Just try to grind them out this way. I like sitting on these paths just for the end of time. I, I just don't want to lose to swans. I do not want to get swanned. Bolt. Bolt is in the house. Block. And core firewalker. We can never cast this. No, yeah, we can never cast that card. <laughs> That is an uncastable card. Uh, delight, delight. Oh no, we can draw abrupt decay. Yeah. All right. Well. Hmm. If he has like cryptic, this is really awkward. I'm just gonna cast collected company and hope he doesn't have. He didn't draw like a cryptic or something. Sweet, he didn't. Well, double goif it is. How does that taste? <laughs> yeah, the old double tarmogoyf. One of them has become scredded. Snap scred? Oh, wow. Scred, snap scred. Well, that happened. That happened. But he has no cards in hand, so Township Collected Company. Double Courser, we have a witness on top, cool. This game is going great. <laughs> Magic's great, this deck's great. Witness, play a mountain, gain two life. I'll just attack. And I just want to get collected company back. So we will now have a collected company in our hand again. starting to hit some land drops too. I mean, we still can't do that much because we have a lot of mountains in play, but it is pretty sweet. Uh, we'll attack first in case he has like cryptic command. Alright, now we'll just jam the Scoif. There's no, need, no reason to blow this collected company when he's just dead. Like, I don't want to overextend. He might have, like, some sort of wrath effect that we don't know about. Is this a swans? It's a batter skull. Okay. Cool. Alright, well, I'm going to attempt to path exile that germ token. And that's game. Okay, cool. Well, we ended up winning against a uh, pretty sweet uh, blue, white, red, like, uh, Soulfire Grandmaster Scred deck, so kind of a cool deck, but uh, collected company and gr value was able to win the win, get the job done 
Uh, so we're now one and one and looking to battle our way back up from the bottom, which is where we started. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this round, even though it was a little bit slow, and make sure you stick around for the next two where hopefully it's still slow but enjoyable.